I am Jessica with that hashtag show, and I'm here with Seth and Emmy to talk about the second season of the Mysterious Benedict Society season two. Um, so first up, for Seth, Sticky ends up going to Boatwright um, in this sort of gap between the seasons, and it looks like he's having a really great time exploring his passions and getting to really geek out over stuff. How has that experience affected him going into season two? Uh, I feel like that uh, that has definitely affected his confidence overall and uh, what he brings to the table. His skills really haven't changed, but just his body language and how he holds himself has changed a lot. Absolutely. And Emmy, we know that Kate is really independent and self-sufficient uh, with her bucket of tools and everything. Um, but now that she's living with her father, she's had to get used to someone trying to take care of her. How is she handling that change? Not well. <laughs> um, Kate is incredibly independent. She likes she likes doing things her way. She likes solving problems on her own. And then all of a sudden having a dad for pretty much the first time that she remembers, it's, it's a big change for her. And um, it takes a while to get used to. Um, definitely being taken care of is something that Kate doesn't really want. And then with... Milligan now being a dad it's like kind of his job so there's like that sort of yeah definitely a conflict there all right and then uh season two gets to see you guys take off on this mysterious jet setting scavenger hunt which is really fun do you have a favorite scavenger hunt clue that your character gets to solve I do have a favorite um ooh, a little spoilery um it's like maybe the, it's maybe the third clue we get. Um, and the big part of the clue is the words specifically that are used. And I think Kate really does has the, um, the I think Kate really does a, a bit of a heavy lifting with when it comes to the solving of that one. Um, oh, and I like the first one too. The very first clue we get with the, it's got like a card and words and there's a book and we have to flip through it. And Kate figures that one out too. Nice. Seth, any favorites? Um, for me, I would probably have to say my favorite clue was um, the first clue leading to, um, leading to the, um, the, the very, what I think is the best uh, location. Um, but yeah, I think I think uh, overall, all the clues had something to do with uh, one of us. Uh, it's the Benedict Society, which uh, helped us find Mr. Redder. Now you mentioned a, a favorite location. You get to go to a lot of places in this in this uh, series too, because of all the clues leading you to different places. So is the the shortcut is the boat your favorite? Uh, yeah, I would definitely have to say the, the shortcut. Is my I mean, do you have a favorite location? Um, I did love filming on the Queen Mary. The shortcut was really cool. <laughs> but I think my favorite location might have been, it was a one-off thing. So it was only it was only really in one scene, but they had built like, it was a little part of like a train station, I think. Um, and they built that and it's in like, sort of like the middle of nowhere. We're on this like, this like big like hill and then there's a little piece of the train station and there's some tracks. And because we were only filming that one part, they didn't build the rest of it. So it's just like a little segment of a building and then nothing for like miles. And I thought that was really funny. It is really funny when you see the, the behind the scenes of Hollywood and it's like the single pop-up. Yeah. That's where fun. you're living. Perfect. Um, okay, final, final question. What's your pitch for why everybody should watch season two? I think that the show has a lot of heart and I think I think it's got these wonderful characters and it all season two does is expand on that it just it takes all the great things that were laid down in in season one and it just it, it gives you even more and then there's other things like new stuff that's added new characters and it's if you liked the first season then you're gonna love the second season. Yeah, one of the things I would say why people should watch the show is because it's different. It, it's 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 not your average Disney Plus show. It's it's not it's not very 
peppy or happy. It's very lower tone, very serious. Like it, it's it's different, and I feel like this show really really relates to a lot of people and relates to what's happening in our world today. Absolutely, very true. All right, Emmy and Seth, thank you for talking with me today.